Welcome to Sandy Flats Kids Art School. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's Sandy here and welcome to Kids Art School. Today we're going to draw a Diplodocus dinosaur. That's really hard to say. Okay, did you know that the Diplodocus dinosaur, I did really well then, was the longest dinosaur and it also weighed as much as a truck. Yeah, whoa, scary. Okay, let's have a look at our dinosaur that we're going to draw. She, he, it has a very long neck. It has a big fat belly. It has a really long tail and it has really little legs. Yeah, or short legs is probably the correct, correct grammar. I will try and speak properly today. Let's start with those circle eyes, two circles and two little dots. And there's the nose. It's like a U on its side. And I've just drawn a dot there to draw the top of the head, a curve that goes up and down. There we go. And then remember, we've got to keep going. Long, 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 long way and curve it up at the bottom there. Yep, it's a super long neck. Ooh, it would have hurt when he had a cold, wouldn't it, with a sore throat. There's the other line. And we are going to draw a little tiny mouth because, yeah, their heads were really tiny, weren't they? I wonder if they had very big brains. Hmm, don't know. Little tiny mouths and little tiny eyebrows. Yep, and there's the back. It's going to curve up and now around and up again at the bottom. And now we're going to draw the legs. So I've drawn a little dot there at the bottom there. I'm going to go down and across and back up again. And you can see the line there that I'm going over. And then we're going to curve it around from there, curve it down and across and just do the same thing again. Yeah, easy. You can do it. Okay, and we're going to draw back up there. Yeah, there we go. And we're going to draw the underside of the belly. Yeah, I like saying that, belly. Okay, and there we go. Now let's draw those other back legs. Much the same way, slightly faster, because you've seen it already. And we'll go up and curve it over. And we'll go down again, sort of spread it out a little bit and a little bit across and up. There we go. Yeah. Okay, now from there, we are going to draw the extraordinarily long tail. And we're going to curve it up and up and up and go down. It's like a racing car. And down at the bottom and curve it back up again and round and round and round and round and round and, round and, round and stop. Fabulous. Okay, let's do the underside of the tail. There we go. Curve it up around and just sort of if you want to make it slightly thinner as it goes to the end because they think their tails got slightly thinner as they went to the end which is why we're drawing it that way because that's what they did they got thinner yeah okay so keep going keep going keep going and stop lovely look at that you're almost done pretty cute and I'm just going to draw some spots on mine you know I don't know if they actually had them but just makes them look a bit more cartoony, dinosaur-y, like Diplodocus dinosaur. I like saying that now. And there's some toenails, little bumps. And now I'm going to draw the spikes. And I'm going to speed it up a bit so they're just like little loops. So I'll draw mine now. And remember, you can always pause and come back and draw yours afterwards. It just takes a little bit of practice. Lots of little spikes. You could just draw lines, just straight lines if you wanted to. Or you could do it the way I've done it with sort of the little loop and we're going to keep going and keep going and keep going and I hope you're having fun are you enjoying it well, I hope so did you watch the meerkat video that was the last one I just did yes very cute very funny if I do say so myself go back and have a look if you haven't seen it and there we go I'm just drawing lines at the end because it gets smaller and you can't necessarily see the loops and there we have it we have our diplodocus dinosaur I've done some spots and eyelashes and stuff like that yeah there you go, well done. News flash. Did you know that when you draw, you'll never be alone? Yes, because when you draw, it makes you feel happy and the time goes really quickly and you don't even notice if nobody's there if you're having so much fun and you're being really creative. Yeah, give it a go when you finish the video. Colouring in idea, a green dinosaur with pink spots. And keep watching towards the end for more fun drawing ideas. But now it's time for Kids Art School Gallery. Yay! And today we have, oh my goodness, an incredible drawing by Mia. Mia is only five and look at what she has drawn. She has done a most beautiful, colourful unicorn. And she sat with her mum. Look at that. They did it together. Isn't that wonderful? And there are their two drawings, mum's and Mia's. 
you can do that too with, you know, a friend or another parent. Now, if you want to send your drawing in, send it to the Kids Art School Facebook page or you can check out my sandyflatart.com webpage or get yourself a Google account and then you'll be able to press like and share and add a comment and subscribe. And then you won't miss out. And remember, you are unique and special and God loves you so much. And oh, here's the more drawing ideas. We have our <gasps> Diplodocus dinosaur in a turtleneck. Because, yeah, remember, he might have got a cold and, and we wanted to keep warm. And oh, look, you could draw a baby dinosaur in an egg. Oh, it's so beautiful. And oh, look, I think this might be how they became extinct. I think they went on a rocket ship out to the moon because, you know, they just had enough of planet Earth and getting colds and stuff. Yeah. Anyway, it's time to go. <laughs> Here's our dinosaur baby. You ba 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 goo 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 goo. Bye bye. Keep on drawing, everybody. I'm loving seeing what you're doing. Catch you later. Bye. <laughs>